Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a hanging mobile, and it shows relationships here. You notice we've got our parallelogram up top. Underneath it, we've got a blank a shape, which is supposed to go, something is supposed to go in this empty box. we got a square and a rectangle. So let's see if we can figure out what the relationship is. So these three, the blank, the square, and the rectangle, all hang down from the parallelogram, which means they're all a part of the parallelogram. That's what this is supposed to show, is we've got two layers. So let's start, I'm going to draw my own out here, the parallelogram. And so sometimes we'll, when we see it, it kind of looks like this. It's got two slanted sides, and we'll draw that. But that's not the only thing that can be a parallelogram. We need to go back to the definition of a parallelogram. So it is a quadrilateral, so parallelograms have to have four sides quadrilateral with two pairs or two sets of parallel sides. That's why it's called a parallelogram of parallel sides. So even though this is parallel, so take a look at my little shape here. I've got those two sides are parallel. Top and bottom are parallel. You also notice that within this big, I'm going to just draw a big box right here. So within this parallelogram, you've got uh, two smaller boxes. So you've got a square. So a square. And when we look at our square, we know that it is, and I'll kind of put it right here, a square is a parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral, and it has four equal sides, and it's got four right angles. So it is a parallelogram, but it's a special type of parallelogram. The sides are equal, just like the parallelogram are, but it's got some extra additional attributes, the equal sides and the right angles. Then we've got our rectangle, so a rectangle is automatically a parallelogram here. And it normally will make it kind of look like this. So it does have the parallel sides, top and bottom, side to side, but it's only got four right angles. So that's slightly different than the square. And then we have our mystery one. So what's going to go over here? Well, let's take a look at our trapezoid. So a trapezoid sometimes kind of looks like this other times it kind of looks like this you'll notice here's the trapezoid it only has one set of parallel sides the other two are not parallel so the trapezoid actually goes outside so if we wanted to put it in our little shape we couldn't because it goes outside it's not a parallelogram it does not have two pairs of parallel sides so we could not put it down there a quadrilateral is any four-sided shape. So it's just a four-sided shape. And the quadrilateral could include a trapezoid, could include a parallelogram, could include a square or a rectangle. So it is even farther outside because there are many four-sided shapes uh, like kites that just don't really fit anywhere. So that's not going to work. And triangle, well, that's only a three-sided shape, so that's not going to work. So let's hope it's rhombus. Let's see if that fits. A rhombus, sometimes we like to think of it like a diamond. But it's really, it's got two sets of parallel sides, so that's what we're looking for. And it's got four equal sides. That's what kind of makes it special. It's a special type of parallelogram, so it fits. And our answer here is C.